some new friends we want you to meet. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Not new to me. I've known Ninja Nick forever. And one day, maybe today, maybe later, we'll tell you the story of how he became Ninja Nick. I love it. Because you don't just earn that nickname all <laughs> willy nilly. <laughs> right. That Ninja nickname. Yeah. <laughs> funny. Okay. Funny. Anyway, but we paid a visit to uh, his house and Autumn Beam's house. Yes, hold up the mm-hmm. goods. They have a business they're doing, and we wanted to tell you about it this episode because we think it's super mm-hmm. relevant, like right now. Of course. And that's yeah, what we always try to do on the show. On. Yeah, provide you of something of mm-hmm. value in a timely manner. Yeah, absolutely. Well, and I mean, especially here in Idaho. So I used to work in the wedding industry, I used to help sell wedding dresses, and it, it does not work here everywhere in the country. But in this particular pocket of the nation, Weddings go, weddings get planned much faster than in most places. The Mormon Corridor. Yes. <laughs> is what we're talking about. It's an actual Wikipedia article and it, the Western equivalent of the Bible Belt, some might say. It goes from Mesa, Arizona, I think, all the way up to Rexburg and mm-hmm. and that's it. But yeah, there is a certain lifestyle here. Right. Yeah. Well, and I would say that most places in, in the U.S. people will spend about a year working on their wedding, give or take. Oh, yeah. You know, here I'd say the average is closer to about three months, you know, six if you're non-LDS. Um, and so we'd get a lot of folks who would come in wanting to buy wedding dresses and expecting that they could have them like shipped in from the designer if they wanted a brand new one. And it's like, oh, honey, that alone takes like six months. Yeah. I remember <laughs> talking to some Persians, and Mm -hmm. I don't know if their race is um, important in this conversation, but I think their culture is. Yes. I was in Disneyland once, and we, you know how sometimes you have to eat your lunch right right next to people you don't know. Right, right. Struck up a conversation. They had been planning their wedding for like three years. Crazy. Crazy. So yeah, yeah, there's all, it takes all kinds and we love Mm -hmm. it. Yeah. But anyway, so especially around here, weddings are going to be going off in the next couple of months. So you've probably either started to, you know, uh, plan your wedding or you're right in the middle of it. So if you need some help with that, check out Autumn's DIY Weddings. DIY Weddings and Events. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to play a little video here uh, and you'll get the idea pretty quick. Mm -hmm. This is just their showroom. They've got two or three times as much. Uh-huh. And it's all one of a kind stuff because of Ninja Nick. Right. Like he built his own house kind of handyman. <laughs> right. But he makes really thoughtful, artful pieces that you're not going to find anywhere else. Mm-hmm. And we just wanted you to see some of this stuff. Yeah. Oh, and you know, another thing that's really cool is their drink cart that they can rent out to you too. Yes. You know, so you can do um, alcoholic beverages as well as like, you know, a uh, Italian soda bar or like a hot cocoa bar or something like that. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. Probably check with your local um, city ordinance people about where you can willy nilly sell alcohol. But I think if it's a private event, right? Yeah. Well, and also I would assume yeah. that you're not selling it if it's an event. Right. You're probably not going to rent their drink trailer to do a street <laughs> event. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. But you might. I yeah. don't know what their rules are. Anyway, a couple of really nice people. I go way back with at least Nick. Yeah. And I think you've known Autumn for as long as I have. Yes. <laughs> Great people. DIY weddings and events on Facebook. Yep. Uh, or if you just Google DIY weddings, Idaho Falls, it pops right up. <laughs> 